Hello, welcome to the video for the eTools and the uh, Mallet profile. Um, <clears throat> here I'm going to show you one of the eTools that I really personally like. Uh, and this is going to be one of the ways that I can incorporate some, uh, some more of like a, a game approach or a real world approach for my students to go in and, and kind of walk through some of the circuitry that they'll be working on. So Twinery is a really useful eTool. Um, it's something that I was introduced to a couple of years, uh, a couple of years back in the Mallet program. Um, had to take some time off, but uh, so if you go to the eTools link in my portfolio, I actually have the twinery.org um, website, and then I asked, I found an, a really good um, video on YouTube for a tutorial. Some of the other eTools that I'd like to use as part of my course and course design is the uh, Google Docs. Uh, as well as the Microsoft Teams. My school uses uh, Outlook, so all the students have access to the uh, Microsoft Teams, uh, and that's a really useful tool, a little bit um, more organized than just using Zoom. Uh, seems to benefit us. So <clears throat> in the um, Twinery website, you can start your own story by clicking on that. And then this right here is, sorry, this right here is, what it looks like when you're designing it. So when you go in and you could add all these sub pages um, as basically an outline. And then once you are satisfied with that, you can go in and it's kind of uh, a little lacking on the, uh, on the graphics, if you will. But um, I, I made one here just to kind of outline uh, what I'm going to do for my course. So if you go to project objectives, it'll take you to a page that I'm going to populate and then project outline will take you to another page I'm going to populate. Um, and then here it could start the simulation of the actual course um, <clears throat> by clicking on each one of these. You can go to the different learning objective pages and then back to the outline. Um, and then, of course, there's navigation buttons to go back and forth in between pages. Uh, so, yeah, my portfolio is able to put some of that information in there. And uh, those are some of the things I look forward to using for this project this semester. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.